Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul working on the fragments of paper left behind on the tape carrier on Noah's copy of Superman number nine. And today I've put them in a Pyrex dish that I got at the Goodwill for, I think, about a buck. And it is pretty scratched up. Those are all on the exterior side, though. So actually, this inside is actually pretty smooth. We're going to be using our friend Bestine. I've already put some in a beaker to make it a little bit easier to handle. And we're going to use a micro spatula and a scraper tool. Links to all these materials in the description below. What I'm going to be doing today is just wetting all of them. And then we're starting with what we talked about, our lowest priority here, so that if we learn things as we go and we get a little better at it we'll graduate down to our highest priority which is this piece right here that has the number nine from superman nine on it so that should be the last one that we do right so bestine is a volatile solvent and you should use it in a well ventilated area minimize your exposure to it and use it safely. And we'll get started. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Paul Kosnick. I'm a biomedical engineer by training and I'm a comic book enthusiast by choice. Maybe I never did have a choice as soon as I saw them. I was hooked, not sure. But here on the channel, we like to share our passion for these things. And um, I tend to do two kinds of videos. I do comic book conservations like this one. And I do market report type videos. So let's just start over here and see what happens. I don't have high hopes for this little fragment of pulp. So if I lose it, I'm not going to cry at all. I can tell over here the um, adhesive is actually brittle. As I'm removing the adhesive, it's making like a crunching sound. But although this looks like a wad of pulp, could it be flattened out? Is there actually something that resembles a piece of paper here? If we manipulate it correctly? It just might be. Yeah. That sort of resembles a piece of paper, huh? Now, this particular wad of pulp, I don't actually think we're going to use. But that's a good test to just see how these pulpy areas come off this tape carrier, okay? Now, I would like to keep this section right here if possible. It's a little bit thicker. It's still like well less than a full thickness of paper, but a little bit thicker than just this little pulpy, you know, few fibers that we have here. So let's start with that. And there's a little bit of a break in the paper right here. And I'm going to try to take advantage of that and slide up under it if I can. We'll just see. What I'm doing is I'm putting pressure downward on the carrier, the plastic backing to the tape. And I'm holding the carrier with my micro spatula in this hand. I've mentioned it before here, but it's worth repeating that when you do this work, you want to maintain really good ergonomics. Get yourself a comfortable seated position. Have your feet flat on the floor. Remember to breathe because you can get quite sort of tensed up doing these tedious jobs. And 
that can lead to long-term problems, back pain and other issues. So make sure you're comfortable. You can only do your best comic conservation work if you're comfortable. So this seems to be going reasonably well. Part of me wonders if I shouldn't come from the other side now. So I'm gonna give that a try. We're about halfway down this section that I wanted to save. some good lively discussion on the channel recently about the direction we're going with this conservation. I do appreciate all the comments. Right, so there we are. We have taken the salvageable piece of paper off that strip. Now, all the paper on this, I believe, is just so wafer thin, it's just going to come up as pulp. But there's a little crack right here. I'm going to try to use that crack to my advantage and see if I'm wrong. Hmm. I'm sort of pleasantly surprised with What's coming up so far here? Hmm. Remember I said sometimes you're surprised at how well things work out? Right now, color me surprised. See that piece of paper? That's actually not half bad. I don't love how this cures peeling on me though.
think that's that strip. It's probably off camera. You can see I'm laying out my salvage strips here in an area that's mostly out of the solvent for the moment. And I'll continue working on this. Something right here got very different. I don't know if I have a split in the tape carrier here. This got super brittle and it's... I'm not able to get my scraper underneath it. It's interesting because it worked reason actually quite well through here. And this, I'm actually pushing very hard right now and not able to get underneath that. And it feels here like the adhesive penetrated the paper and then turned brittle. Not sure why that would be true, like in that one spot, but it is. So, we'll salvage what we can from the end here. Again, who knows if we'll be able to put this, reunite it with the pieces of the cover, but we're going to give it a try. All right. Looks like this area is drying out a little bit, so I'm going to give this just a little bit more bestine. continue working just as we did. I tried to just flatten this as much as I could and get under all that paper. And it worked like okay. It certainly was a lot faster than the rate I was going without it, but I don't think it worked quite as well.
time. So, we have managed to salvage a lot of that material off that carrier. We can put this carrier over here, the other one. All right, now I'm just looking at this and what we learned on these others, there's no way we're gonna get anything useful off these. So I'm not gonna bother. Them. If we change our mind, we can come back to them. Can you hear like that crunchiness? That's the adhesive that. polymerized and turned into crunchy, crusty material. Right. If I recall, this is actually two pieces of carrier. I don't know if we need to separate them to get access to the paper that we want. There isn't any paper on that one. See what we can do with this. Yeah, that worked out reasonably well. All right, we're moving right along. So we have these two high value pieces and we have this piece which has some nice pulp down here, some nice paper fragment down here and I think the rest of this is really super thin pulpy stuff. Probably not really worth the effort but we're going to try to get this here. We got two layers of tape, so step one was removing those two from one another. Now we'll see if we can get this paper off this piece of carrier. There we go. All right. I think we're just down now to our two original targets here. Two that I thought were the high, highest value targets. So obviously we're gonna go as slow as we need to on these. a lot of adhesive on there. You see that adhesive layer? We're going to get that off right now. Okay. And then on to this piece here. And I don't know the best way to come at this. I like that I have a nice runway here of tape carrier to get this started. But ultimately, I don't know if I really want to come at it from this direction, because it gets so thin right here. And I really want to capture this. So I'm just going to start over here. But I think I'm going to 
also come at it from that other direction, this corner, or this edge rather. Like I said, we're going to go really slow, and in fact, I'm going to just add a little bit of Bestine to it, just because I don't want that adhesive to start gumming up while I'm working it. Okay. So far, so good. Just gonna go nice and slow here. Slow and steady. we go. Let's see what it looks like. All right, we were able to get it off the carrier. Again, it has quite a bit of adhesive on it. I can get some of that off now. Oof. It's very pulpy, though. All right. Oh, here's a piece of carrier yet. All right. Start over here with this pulpy edge. No, it needs a little bit more bestine. We'll start over here with this pulpy edge. And work toward that better paper there. So it was one of the other pieces of graphics that we really wanted to save if we could. So I'd say that's a success. All right. Well, I definitely exceeded my expectations here. So what am I gonna do now? We are going to get rid of all this carrier because it still has a lot of adhesive on it. And I'm gonna do some additional baths for this to, what we're not gonna really be able to scrape adhesive off this very effectively. So we're gonna use solvents. And what that means is we're gonna do continuous solvent baths where we rinse let it take the adhesive into solution rinse it off apply more rinse it off apply more so just basically rinsing diluting it getting it into solution and getting it out of there we may also use some toluene for that depending on how well the bestine is working and then maybe next time 
we'll show the results and we'll talk about the T's chart and why certain solvents work better for certain things than others. So I think we'll wrap up with this here today. I'm extremely pleased with this outcome. It exceeded my expectations and I appreciate everybody joining us. Until next time, take care of one another. Thank <laughs> you.